The FFAR has been nerfed in Warzone, but it doesn't have to be that way for you. Today I'm going to show you a loadout that will still outperform the MP5, the MAC-10 and the FFAR that's recommended by the bigger YouTubers and streamers. Today we're going to show you how your FFAR will still beat all of them in Warzone. These are the patch notes from the 6th of April 2021. For the FFAR you have to look at this part, this part and last but not least that part. But it isn't very clear. They speak a little bit in between the lines so let's translate it for you. They say the FFAR is a jack of all trades meaning it's a pretty good gun. Uh, it has a damage profile and range of an AR but a fire rate of an SMG. So what they're saying it's an AR but it shoots too fast. The FFAR's efficiency basically was making it outperform SMGs at ranges they weren't satisfied with, meaning at ranges where SMGs should have won. So the, outperfor the FFAR was outperforming them. Now ideally, they want the FFAR to fulfill a role of a mid-range weapon, meaning that short-range firefights should be won by SMGs, not by the FFAR. Now they're bringing the FFR a bit in line with what they, they want you to get from the weapon itself. So the damage and range of an AR, but they're gonna reduce the handling so it doesn't seem as much as an SMG and they're also gonna lower a few other things as well. They also adjusted the attachments. So previously, the rear grip attachments that showed an ADS speed pro are now gonna show an ADS speed increase. The other thing that they changed was a bug with the Salvo Fast Mag where the FFAR and M16 were not having their ADS speed decreased. Now we're gonna get a penalty of 108 milliseconds or 58 milliseconds, which is way too much. So this is not a patch notes video, but I'm gonna show you what you have to do. So let's go over to, for example, true game data, and we're gonna have a few weapons in here. So what I've done, orange is a basic FFAR. No attachments, no nothing, that's why you don't see anything here. The other thing that I've made is the FFAR recommended by Jgod. So a bigger YouTuber and a few streamers use this as well. So we're gonna use his loadout and I'm gonna include my loadout. So what I recommended in the previous video. So orange, basic FFAR, we're including uh, bullet travel time to the target. Otherwise it will look like this trait. So we wanna have a realistic situation. So it looks like this, but it doesn't really change that much. Uh, it's more at the, the longer range fights that you see the biggest difference. And we're not gonna do an ADS increase yet. We're gonna do that in a second. So without ADS, so not taking that into account, or maybe you're a person that will always ADS long before you walk around the corner and so you can start shooting the moment you see the guy. That's this what you see here. So they all start at the same time to kill points. So 467 milliseconds for chest shots against a triple eight guy. At a range of, let's say, 36 meters, where the damage drop of point of the basic FFAR, you're gonna see that all the other FFARs outperform them, including the one from Jgod, which is a purple one, which is the best one so far, and mine, which is so, sort of in the middle. Now, the difference is not that big. We're looking at 511 milliseconds at 43 meters, and we're looking at 517 at 39.6 meters, and we're looking at 524, 36 meters. Now, here comes the magic, ADS speed. Let's include this. So let's say you're a normal player, you walk around the corner or you slide around the corner, you see a guy, you ADS, then you start shooting. And this is the result. Now the situation has completely changed. The best gun so far is the one that I've recommended and not by a little bit. So best gun I recommended, basic FFAR and the one from the bigger YouTubers and streamers. Mine will kill in 754 milliseconds. So that's you going around the corner, aiming at your target, start, and then you start shooting. Second best thing you can do is just a basic FFAR, the one you pick up from the ground, or if you use one without attachments, which doesn't make sense, but you can. Looking at 767, not the biggest difference, so looking at uh, 13 milliseconds. But now look at what happens when you go for the one from the biggest streamers and YouTubers. 821. Now this is every single gunfight where you ADS and shoot. That's a difference of 754, 821, so that's 21, 66, 87 milliseconds. Every single gunfight. And this weapon remains better up to a range of 39.6 meters. And only at this range until from 39.6 to uh, 0.6 till 43, let's call it 44, the bigger streamers and YouTubers have a better FAR. So about for four meters, that's it. And then my recommended loadout takes over again. 
Now, this is not everything. The FFR is a great gun, but they've also said, hey, we want to make it uh, a little bit worse in the short range firefights because we want the SMGs to come out on top. So, okay, fair enough. Let's look at what happens then. So, we got a new comparison chart. We got the FFR. This is my loadout with the 38 round mag, and I'll explain later why I'm doing that. This is the orange one this time. The bigger streamers and YouTubers version is the green one that you see here. So slightly better because we're not using ADS time yet. Still using three plates and chest shots and pull travel time to the target. And then we have the MAC-10 which is a uh, light blue. And we have the MP5. Now this is the previous MP5 that Huskers was using. And it's also the MAC-10 that Huskers was using. I know this MP5 might be outdated because it doesn't really use it much anymore. But it uses the MAC-10 almost every day that he plays. So, uh, as you can see here, MP5, so his old one, outperforms the MAC-10 by a little bit, up to a range of about 10.45 meters, and the MAC-10 keeps on going till 18.7 meters. So that's why he's using this one more often than the old MP5. Now, let's use the magic again of the ADS time speed. So let's say, short range firefight, no matter the gun, you ADS and then you shoot or you ADS, ADS at the same time. So, let's include it. And look what happened. So my FFAR, orange. Blue is a MAC-10. Purple is the MP5. And green is the FFAR rec recommended by the big guys. So what we see here now that, yes, they tried to change the FFAR into a weapon that is outperformed by SMGs in the short range firefight. Done. That's what they did. But there's a way around that, as you can see. So looking at the difference, uh, point blank range, 754, 763, not a big difference. 776, again, not that big, but you're outperforming it. And then the basic weapon, so this is what they intended. Of course, terrible at short range firefights until a range of, let's say, 18.8 meters. Then it will outperform again. My FFR outperforms everything and everyone except for 4 meters. So without further ado, let's go over to the loadout. What you see here is the absolute best loadout for the FFAR after the nerf. So I will go over the loadout quickly here, and I'll show you the stats later in the overview. So we're looking at an agency suppressor to remain silent and a few other uh, benefits and penalties as well. Looking at the field agent grip for horizontal and vertical recoil control. This is a bit special, I'll cover it in a second. Raider stock, which is also something that everybody is using. ADS movement speed and all that stuff. Um, airborne elastic wrap. Why? ADS time improvement. Flinch resistant aiming stability. But there are a few penalties here. We, they don't really matter that much. Especially on the sprint, sprint to fire time because your ADS time is by far worse than the sprint to fire time. So you want to match them a little bit like you saw in the previous video. Now the magazine. Um, it's a little bit tricky because you only have 38 rounds. You'll have 12 rounds less than the 50 round max, but I'll tell you why. The Salvo 50 round mag has an ADS penalty of 108 milliseconds, which is insane. The Stalag 50 round mag has a 58 millisecond penalty on the ADS side time. It's too much and it gives you such a big disadvantage that your time to kill goes up to insane levels that every SMG is going to outperform you. And that's pretty much what it is. It's what they intended, but you can get around that by using the 38 round mag. Yes, you have 12 bullets left. Sorry, less than the other mags, but... If you ADS faster and you ADS consistently faster, you will win every single firefight. At least if it's a fair fight and a guy has the same skill as you. The problem is, uh, let's say you're playing quads, you won't be able to kill four guys with it. But I look at myself. How many times have I killed four guys with one magazine? Uh, never. I've killed three guys with one magazine, fair enough, but never four. So, and what I use mostly, what I seem to be using when I look at my footage again, is that with the 38 round mag, I kill two guys and the last bullets I just use to use them to finish them off. Um, that's it. I never use the last 12 bullets to actually make a kill. Except for once or twice when I killed uh, a trio with one magazine. Otherwise than that, so 95% or 99% even of the firefights, I don't use the last 12 bullets to kill. So it's not going to affect me as much, but this is a decision that you're going to have to make. Um, do you need those 12 bullets and do you use them to kill? Or do you use them to actually take them out of the game? That's the question that you're going to have to answer. Let's go over to the stats again. 
These are the latest stats for the FFAR. Pre-patch, the biggest change was the ADS time. 258 milliseconds, which now became 300. This is for the basic FFAR. So let's change that. This is your stats comparison. So you're looking on the left side, the FFAR, basic one. The big YouTubers and streamers, one in the middle and mine on the right. So some things will be the same, some things will be different, but the things that are different are super important. Fire rate, same, 900 rounds per minute. Range modifier. So the middle one uses the task force, which gives you a 22% range, fair enough. The only thing that gives me range is the agency suppressor, which they use as well, so I got uh, about 10%. ADS time, super important. Basic, so you start off with 300 milliseconds. Their combination of attachments, mainly the barrel, and the Stanek 50 rounds increase the ADS time by 54 milliseconds. In comparison, because I don't use a barrel and I use a 38 round, my ADS time goes down to 287. So this difference is insanely big and it makes you win every single gunfight where you have the ADS before. And remember, the FFAR is not a gun that you're supposed to use with hip fire only. So you're gonna have the ADS at some point, which for me means almost every single gunfight. All the other stats are sort of the same, except for the recoil control. Now, I use the field agent grip, they don't. That means that their vertical recoil is slightly better. Uh, sorry, slightly worse. This plus is worse because they get more vertical recoil and I get less. So my weapon is easy con easier to control and it kills faster. The only downside is of course the magazine size, which we discussed, and the bullet velocity. So I'm gonna kill, so my bullets are gonna reach my target a little bit later, but my time to kill is higher. So it's, sorry, sorry, it's quicker. So I'm gonna kill faster, but my bullets reach the target later. Which means that everything is sort of on my side, but it's a little bit more difficult to lead your target. Because you're gonna have to lead your target a little bit more in the long range firefight. All the other stats are pretty much the same, except for, of course, magazine size. Now, let's go over to the effect of the attachments that they use and what I use. So, what I've set up, Agency Suppressor, which I think we all can agree on. Uh, rate of Stock, which we can agree on. And then, sort of, certain things I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna take a barrel, because their task force that they use gives them a range increase of 11%, which is nice, but it's just the 4 meters that we discussed. They get a lot more vertical recoil but their bullet velocity goes up. Now let's remove this again. I went for the field agent grip because my vertical recoil is better and the horizontal bounce is a lot better, meaning that my weapon is a lot more accurate than the weapons that they're using. Ammunition, so this is the big one. 108 milliseconds penalty ADS time for the salvo 50 round fast mag and 58 for the stanach 50 round. None for the 38 round. So those 12 bullets don't come with a disadvantage. Their 12 bullets comes with a pretty big disadvantage. Let's go 38 rounds and of course airborne elastic wrap. Again, um, benefit on the ADS time, penalty on the sprint to fire time. Why? Your ADS time starts at 300 milliseconds. Your sprint to fire time goes down to 275. This is the tactical one and the normal sprint to fire time is 187. So you compare 187 to 287, these are the two numbers that you want to get as closely as possible as you can. You have to be very closely together. This thing allows you to do that because the penalty on the sprint to fire time is fine. You can easily take that and that you can uh, benefit from the ADS time benefit uh, over here. And as you can see, that FFAR outperforms everything. So the MAC-10, the MP5 and the other FFAR that, are, that is recommended by the big guys. So please use this, but try it out, because you have to answer one main question for you. Uh, what do you do with the last 12 bullets? Do you use them to kill or do you use them to finish the guy off? As always, guys, um, I will be making more videos like this. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe. And if you don't mind, you're more than welcome to make a comment to joke about my benefit of the benefit of the ADS time. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.